Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Microsoft Word 2016, specifically how to reorganize document text using the navigation pane. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see that I have a Microsoft Word document right here. If I wanted to view the navigation pane, I'm going to go right up here to the View tab and click on that. And then I'll go over here to the Show group and I'll click the checkbox for Navigation Pane. Once I click that, the navigation pane will appear over here on the left side. I already have a video on the basics of this heading section right here, so I'm not going to cover that, but I will link that video at the end of this one. All right, so first thing that we're going to do in here is we're going to figure out how to use this area here, headings, to reorganize our text. So I have a heading one right here. I could go to the Home tab and double check that. Overview is a heading one style. And then I have two heading two styles below it. Let's say that after writing this, I want team objectives, which is right here. In, instead of being listed before logo considerations, I could list it after. All right, and so instead of cutting and pasting or doing anything like that, I can literally just click and drag on team objectives and drag it below logo considerations. Then I release and I now see that team objectives is on this page down here and logo considerations has been moved above. So that is a quick and easy way to move your, um, your headings using the navigation pane. Now let's say I wanted to move methods below schedule. I could even click and drag all of this, which and I'm talking about the heading one style and the three subheadings below it, all below it by clicking and dragging. And then I'll release and now you'll see that the schedule has been updated both in here in the navigation pane as well as on my page with the three subheadings below it. All right, so one other thing that I wanted to consider in here is if you right click on any of the headings in the navigation pane, you could also quickly expand and collapse all of the headings. So if I choose collapse all here, you'll notice that it collapses everything right over here and right clicking and going to expand all will expand everything out so that I can see all of my headings. All right, so that's everything I wanted to show you in here. Now, if I click on pages, I could quickly see my pages listed right in here and I can view those pages similar to Microsoft PowerPoint where you could just click on the page and it'll take you there. And then finally this results section is a place where I could type in certain words and it will find those words on the document. So for instance if I type in this name right here I can go right up here click and if I type that in first I'll deselect this just to show you that and if I type that in oops spelled it wrong there we go. And notice that it shows me all of the results. So right there, I could click on that and it'll take me there. This works for things that are more common words as well. I can click and drag through here and I could type in, say the word team and press enter. And it'll show me everywhere on our document that contains the word team and where it contains it. So I can click and drag or rather just click and it'll take me to any of those spots on the document. So that is a quick way to quickly navigate around your document as well as view your pages in the navigation pane and then finally collapse and expand your heading. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to comment with any video requests or general comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.